Hello everyone, this is Vrishali. In previous session, we discussed about project planning process and scope management with examples. I have mentioned complete software engineering subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss the next important topic that is work breakdown structure. Let's start the session. In this session, we will discuss what is WBS, their working components, why WBS, then examples and software tools. At the end, we will discuss some important questions that have asked in previous year question paper. Let's see all these points one by one. Now, the first thing is what is WBS? WBS stands for Work Breakdown Structure. This structure have generated in planning phase of software development lifecycle. And this structure performed by project manager and subject matter expert. As we discussed earlier, in software development lifecycle, designer design a particular product module by module. Then developer also develop a particular product module by module, right? So for that purpose, work breakdown structure is necessary. Work breakdown structure divide a large and complex project into simple, manageable and independent task. Basically, it is used to organize and plan your complete project into different activities, sub-activities and complete status of overall project. See here in this diagram, this is the structure of WBS. WBS structure always shown in hierarchical manner or tree-like structure. There is a top to down approach is there. Now, let's discuss this structure in detail. The next topic is working of work breakdown structure. See here in this diagram. In WBS structure, the first root node is always a project name. Project manager decide a project name. For example, college management system application. So this is the name of the project and this is a root node. Now in second step, project have divided into the three main deliverable tasks. For example, college management system have divided into the three main tasks like student module, teacher module and HOD module. After that, in third step, this task again divided into the multiple sub -task. For example, in student module, there is a student attendance, student awards, student marks. These are the different tasks, right? So this process done recursively. Generally, project manager decide that how many modules in particular project how many tasks in particular project, then how many WBS levels in particular project. This is all decided by project manager. At the end, subtask also divided into the different work packages. Work packages is a smallest task that perform at the end of particular project. This denote the end of WBS structure. After generating WBS structure, project manager choose a task owner means they assign a particular task, a particular team lead or team member. So this is a working of WBS structure. Now the next topic is components of WBS. The first component is WBS dictionary. After generating this structure, this doc structure have mentioned in particular document and this document is called as WBS dictionary. Project manager send forward this document to designer and developer for development purpose. The second component WBS level means how many levels in WBS structure, how many tasks, their subtasks, again their subtasks in this way. This is called as WBS levels. Now the next one is a task. Task means main task or main modules. Subtask means those main tasks have divided into the different subtasks. Then work packages. Work packages placed at lowest level of WBS. This is a small group of tasks which mention the status of your complete project. The next one is a control account. Control account is a group of work packages. They measure the status means which type of task have performed, how many time is required for completing a particular task. So basically it shows the status of your particular project module by module. And the last one is a project deliverable. Project deliver means after completing your complete project, desired outcome of project are mentioned in one task. This is called as project deliverable, which is delivered to the customer. Now, the next important thing is why work breakdown structure is necessary. The first thing is it allow easy management of project because they show the complete structure of project. 
how many tasks how many activities and the status of your project so it is very easy to manage complete project and proper organization of particular project means each and every stakeholder understand the wbs structure and they understand how each and every activities have performed so wbs structure give the visibility of important activities risky activities and correlation between all the activities in wbs structure it also mention the cost estimation means one task required how many cost and for performing one task how many time is required so cost and time is also mentioned in wbs structure so basically it provide a better communication with your all team members because this structure share with all the stakeholders and the efficiency of wbs structure can determine success of project if you divide a complete project properly in different tasks and their sub task is mentioned so it is very easy to design easy to develop that determine the success of project now see here these are the different examples of wbs structure see here this is a work breakdown structure of restaurant system first the project name that is opening restaurant then they divided into the multiple task the first task is market research right first you need to do the research before opening a restaurant so at that time there are sub task you can do a research by using survey which are the competitors are there market research focus on group etc now in second task construction phase after research you need to do construction of restaurant that is indoor outdoor dining area kitchen reception storage room washroom parking lobby etc the third one is a human resources and the sub task is staff recruitment staff training etc and the last one is a marketing so in marketing you can do different activities like celebrities advertising brochures etc so this is a work breakdown structure of restaurant system means it shows the proper organization of particular project and which is which is very easy to identify which task which activities have performed now the second example which is related to e-commerce site developing see here this is a wbs structure of actual development here this is a project name and it can be divided into the multiple task the first task is project management in software development life cycle first you need to manage a plan scope statement scheduling risk of planning etc then second one is the analysis you can do a analysis by requirement gathering interview use cases the third one is the design in design the sub task are prototype design architectural design after design there is a developing that is graphics and interface develop database implementation etc and last one is a testing and production here reviewing design releasing site close out meeting close out documents etc so basically it shows the complete structure of project in sequential manner so this is a wbs structure now in market there are some free and paid software tools are available for creating this work breakdown structure tools like e draw max lucid chart smart draw visual paradigm mind view and creately you can use any particular software for creating this wbs structure see here in this diagram here there is a software project these are the different tasks and these are the different tasks so for completing a planning they require 240 hours and the particular cost means it also mention how many time is required for completing a particular activity and how many cost is also required so this is a complete structure of wbs as per your previous year question paper this is one of the most important question like explain work breakdown structure in detail here you have to explain the theory plus example you can take any example for explanation with diagram for 7 marks this is all about wbs thank you keep learning